What's up everyone, Rob from Mishimoto. Today we're going to install our intercooler and intercooler pipes in your 2013 Plus Cummins powered Ram. Let's get started. Tools recommended for installation include 10, 11, and 13 millimeter straight and swivel sockets, quarter inch drive ratchet, quarter inch drive extensions, 24 millimeter socket, half inch drive ratchet, 13 millimeter wrench, 24 millimeter wrench, and a hose pick tool. Installation time is three to four hours. Installation difficulty is a four out of five. Caution, the intercooler on this vehicle is very heavy. We recommend having a friend on hand to help with installation and removal. Loosen the clamp that secures the hot side intercooler pipe to the turbocharger outlet. Loosen the clamp that secures the cold side intercooler pipe to the intake. Remove the four bolts that secure the ducting to the front of the intercooler. Disconnect the harness clip from the ducting, located on the passenger side of the vehicle, just below the radiator. Remove the three tree clips that secure the ducting to the bottom of the intercooler. Remove the three tree clips that secure the lower fan shroud to the bottom of the intercooler. Remove the four bolts that secure the plow mounts to the frame, then remove the plow mounts. Loosen the clamp that secures the intercooler pipe to the passenger side of the intercooler. Loosen the clamp that secures the intercooler pipe to the driver side of the intercooler. Work a hose pick between the boots and the intercooler to loosen them. They tend to get stuck, which makes removing the intercooler difficult. Once the boots are loose, separate them from the intercooler. Remove the four bolts that secure the lower fan shroud to the back of the intercooler. Remove the lower fan shroud from the intercooler. Drop the passenger side of the ducting down first, then the driver's side. Remove the four bolts that secure the intercooler to the frame of the truck. These bolts support the weight of the intercooler, so be prepared to handle the full weight of this component. While holding the intercooler up, remove the front ducting that you disconnected earlier. Remove the intercooler from the vehicle. Remove the intercooler pipes from the vehicle. There are three different types of bolts included with your kit. The large 12 millimeter head bolts will be used to secure the mounting brackets to the intercooler. The long 10 millimeter head bolts will be used to secure the front shrouding to the lower shroud. The short 10 millimeter head bolts secure the shrouding to the intercooler. Install the six bolts that secure the mounting brackets to the intercooler, but leave them loose for now. Locate the silicone elbows in your kit. One boot is a bit longer than the other. Compare them to the stock boots to identify them. Lubricate the ends of the intercooler pipes, intercooler inlet, and outlet. Install the intercooler boots to the pipes, but don't install the clamps yet. This will make it easier to lead the pipes. If you are installing a Mishimoto intercooler only, you will have to install the transition boots provided with the kit. Use a cutoff wheel or diagonal cutters to remove the clamp that holds the stock boots on the stock intercooler pipes. Then swap the stock boots for the Mishimoto transition couplers. From underneath the vehicle, route the hot side intercooler pipe up behind the radiator hose until it meets the turbocharger outlet. Route the cold side intercooler pipe over the steering gear and turn it while you feed it up towards the intake. Slip four of the provided clamps over the intercooler ends of the pipes. Take care to orient the clamps so you'll be able to tighten them later. Push the clamps up past the boots so they are out of the way.
Install the Mishimoto intercooler. Lift the intercooler into place and slip the boots over the intercooler inlet and outlet. It may be helpful to have your pick tool on hand to help the boots over the lip of the intercooler. Then secure the intercooler to the vehicle with two of the original bolts placed in the lower bolt holes. Thread the bolts in, but don't tighten them yet. Some movement in the intercooler is necessary to install the shrouding. Slip two of the provided T-bolt clamps over the intake end of the cold side intercooler pipe. Install the pipe over the intake inlet, but don't tighten the clamps yet. You may need to go back and adjust this later. Slip two of the provided T-bolt clamps over the turbocharger end of the hot side intercooler pipe. Install the pipe over the turbocharger outlet, but don't tighten the clamps yet. Locate the lower fan shroud included with your kit. Pull back the factory fan shroud and slip the driver's side corner of the Mishimoto shroud past the steering gear. The factory shroud should sit on top of the Mishimoto shroud to form a good seal. Then secure the shrouding with four of the provided bolts. Locate the front ducting panels in your kit. Install the side panels by sliding them through the front grille, then secure them with the four provided bolts. Locate the lower ducting panel included with your kit. Orient the panel so the lip is pointing down, then install the panel to the bottom of the intercooler. Secure the bottom of the panel to the side panels with the two provided long bolts. Leave a small gap to allow water to drain from the ducting. Install the two remaining bolts that secure the intercooler to the frame and tighten all four bolts. Tighten the bolts that secure the bottom of the intercooler bracket to the intercooler. Now that the intercooler is fully secured, slide all the T-bolt clamps into position and tighten them. These clamps must be positioned over the bead roll of the component they secure to provide a good seal. Reinstall the plow mounts and secure them with the original hardware. Now that you've got the intercooler installed, double check all your connections and fire up that Dodge for a test drive. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out.